use as an introduction to microbiology uh, lab. We're going to be doing a lot of things in this lab, but just uh, some basic information as we get started. We often talk about a culture that's just referring to the microorganisms that are growing in some form of a nutrient medium. It may be liquid, it may be solid medium, and we're growing them in the laboratory under controlled conditions. When we talk about a pure culture, we're referring to the fact that there's just one species growing in that medium. If it's a mixed culture, you have at least two different uh, species. You may have multiple species in there. The growth mediums can either be in a broth or an auger. Broth uh, may be grown in a flask or a tube. It allows for a very high density growth. The drawback from a broth medium, however, is that you cannot distinguish between multiple species if they are growing together in the same broth. The auger, uh, it allows us to solidify the medium, grow the organisms on this solid medium, either in a petri dish or tube. You typically may not have as high density growth as you would in a broth. However, you can potentially, not always, but potentially distinguish between different species. You can isolate to get pure colonies when growing organisms on auger. Broths are typically used to maintain pure cultures. You can also use uh, broths to inoculate with microorganisms to determine the results of various biochemical testing, physiological testing. Auger, you can have slants, which are typically used for biochemical testing once again, and also for maintaining your, your pure cultures, your stocks on them. You can have auger deeps, which are typically used once again for physiological testing. And then on plates, you can use this to isolate get those individual pure colonies. You can also, when microorganisms are growing on a plate, can look at distinguishing culture characteristics as well. This, you, this will help you for identification purposes. You may not to be able to identify solely on the culture characteristics, but it will help you. Some of the equipment that we use for growing microorganisms, oftentimes we'll use tubes. As we've mentioned just previously, it can be in a liquid form in a broth, or we could have slants or deeps. The media is sterilized in those tubes. So you make the media, dispense it into the tubes, and then sterilize it. Plates, the media has to be sterilized prior to pouring the plates. Once you inoculate a plate, you're always going to incubate it inverted or upside down. That keeps the condensation off of the colonies. Flask, sometimes we use these, it would be a broth medium, the medium is going to be made and sterilized in those flasks. It's usually when you're wanting to grow a lar larger quantity of the microorganism and you may be dispensing it in the tubes afterwards. Transfer equipment instruments, uh, probably one of the most common things you're going to use is an inoculating loop. Sometimes you might use an inoculating needle. These can either be wire ones that you can sterilize, say, in the flame, or they may be plastic and be pre-sterilized for one-use um, type of things. Sometimes you use pipettes for transferring liquid. Sometimes you will use a micropipette. This is for transferring very small amounts. Sometimes you may use a cotton tip applicator that has already been, once again, pre-packaged, pre-sterilized, and you will just dip that typically into liquid medium and then use it to either inoculate a tube or a spread plate. These are just some, uh, as I said, introductory type of equipment and techniques that you're going to be using throughout the lab, throughout the semester.